Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Where Ships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice concentrated pomegranate drink. Very, very refreshing indeed. So welcome back to the game. Previously, we were doing a bit of a standalone designing and fighting session. And specifically, we made... <laughs> Yeah, something that um, was not overly effective. This is the Bullfrog, and basically it's a mix of one of the longest range weapons in the game, the Aerial Torpedo, and um, we went with we went with rockets. You can also equip that with acid as well. We did uh, a bit of a try with that as well, and, well, it, it worked-ish. It, it was fun to, to build, and that's, well, all you can really hope for. Either way, we're going to do another bit of building here, but this time we're going to go over to the airship editor, and going through a lot of the weapons and things like that, and just recently there's been a, it's not really a new weapon added, but a variant of weapon. We have the Suspendium Disruptor that disrupts the Suspendium Crystals in anything that flies, and basically makes the crystal crack, so it makes things fall out of the sky. However, it's very expensive. Uh, this is the smaller version. There is actually a larger version like so. So this is the original one. This is the heavy Suspendium Disruptor, and we now have a Suspendium Disruptor. I'm just waiting for the small Suspendium Disruptor, which, well, we'll see. But that's still 6,000, the other one's 9. But that's not what we're focusing on in this video. Instead, we're going to do some boarding. I do like myself a bit of boarding in the game, and I was going through some of the stuff that we have available. So there's things like, you know, your standard guards and your air dragoons. And, well, if we just go over to um, open design here, and if I can find the, yeah, the Sparrowhawk. This is our main boarding vessel, and it is... Um, well, it's as simple as you like. It's one, two, three, four of these marine barracks and then a grape shot cannon on the top because, well, you do need to have some sort of weapon. And that's fine for most purposes. You also have things like the grenadier barracks. This is four elite grenadiers with grappling hooks for rapidly boarding enemy ships. That's much better for enemy ship boarding. So this thing can just go to wherever it wants and drop the people off. But there's many a time we had a misdrop, so there might be a building down here we've went so quick to the right when they've jumped the momentum's carried them and then they've um, met a very uh, quick end at uh, well hello ground and then, then they hit the yeah they hit the ground and it uh, didn't work for them but yeah that was a good one we also have the spider bear which we've not used in anger in quite a while and these are pretty good these are borders with grappling hooks and melee hp 14 and very fast piercing damage is eight so i think it causes the most damage of all of the all of the borders. However, there's something that I have not really messed around with, and that is this thing here. This is the Wasp Killer Marine Barracks. Originally created to fight clockwork wasps, these marines are equipped with steam-powered exoskeletons and gatling guns. Because of their weight, they have to be dropped vertically onto the target ship. So there are 206 generic units of currency as opposed to the 162 of the uh, barracks. So, yeah, you, you get actually... How many do you get? You get... Two Two wasp killer marines, uh, <laughs> yeah, two wasp killer marines there, and you get four grenadiers. However, the difference is staggering when it comes to the HP. Twenty HP for the wasp killer marines and three piercing damage, whereas the uh, grenadiers have HP six and piercing damage six. So they've got a lot more health. The wasp killer marines. So I'm hoping that that would give us some sort of advantage. So I'm going to remove these things here, and we are going to put in the wasp killer marine barracks. And uh, yep, yeah, there we go. We are pretty much full <laughs> it does say crew 12 recommended is how many is that it's recommended uh, 13 so what we'll do is we'll remove that we'll put that back there we'll remove that and put that back there and you've got a quarters which the quarters will work fine but if we go over to the basic here actually it wouldn't be basic it'll be in uh, command and crew and then to a berth and we'll put the berth there and the berth's now in and that is all fine I'm going to remove the grip shot cannon and actually move it a little bit further forward because there was always one major downside with this design and that's the um, well, fire. We can't really put the fire out, which is always a disadvantage. So we're going to, well, first out, we'll move the grape shot cannon, and we'll put in, it would be in resources, I believe... Uh, yes, fire extinguisher. So the fire point will go in there, so that is fine. We have in also, because these are equipped with Gatling guns, yes, steam-powered escalons with Gatling guns, I think we're going to pair this ship up with a Gatling gun as well. So over to our weapons, and then going to go down here, and there is indeed the Gatling gun. So there we go, that is, that is the vessel. It's called the Sparrowhawk. We're going to change that to... 
the the magpie because I believe magpies can eat wasps. Save design and there we go. Let's go ahead and try this thing out in Angus. So we're going to go with a... Actually, no. What I'll do first is I'm going to go to the airship editor and we're going to check the difference between... Hang on a second. <laughs> Maybe we should, uh, yeah, probably probably fix that. There's a there's a wasp killer marine thing right at the bottom there. Let's just have a quick load up of that one. So and oh no, it's not there. Mm, okay, it must just be. Is that just the auto save? Probably. Anyway, I'm gonna go to our design here, and we can see that the. Sparrowhawk is 1,246, whereas the magpie is 2,428. So, yeah, it's pretty much double the price. And are we going to get double effectiveness off it? The service ceiling is a lot less. Uh, it's 340 on the Sparrowhawk. And the magpie is 292. Speed is 214. And yeah, so the Sparrowhawk is lighter. It is faster. It can go higher. It is half the price. And the only advantage we have for the magpie is you can give commands to it a bit better. And well, end of chat. Well, obviously, it's going to depend on these wasp killer marines. So we're going to cancel our fight now. Well, we'll actually go to a fight. And we'll see what it's like. So. I'm going to add in a building, and I'm just going to put in the biggest building we have. This is the bamboo, and I have a feeling this is going to absolutely annihilate our our thing here. So that is it's just loads of rifles. The idea is we need to go to our airship, and we'll come down, go to the magpie. Magpie will go up there. We will start, and immediately I'm going to tell us to move and move to there. And we should be able to give commands to it relatively quickly. And the whole point is we have to drop on top of it. So I'm going to say drop, and there is the mist drop immediately. There we go. I'm just paused it for a second because, um, oh, oh, interesting. So these guys dropped from a great height, yet in spite of that, they're still, they still landed, and they can now board. And there they go, with... <laughs> okay. They boarded that and captured it straight away. <laughs> okay. See, it's the armour that I'm hoping is going to save them. The problem is walking between one building and another. Once they're inside, I'm not worried about them. It's getting from one place to another. So... Add building once again. This time we're going to put in the orc, which is a much more reasonable thing to board. But we're going to put one, two, three of them there. And that is 2,580. We're going to add in the airship. And naturally, we'll add... <laughs> Every time we go to this, it's because it's the autosave, yeah. Um, we're going to go down to the magpie again. And we're going to put that in pretty low. Oh, we might as well put it there. Start the fight immediately. We'll just say move to there. That's all we need to do. Actually, we'll say ram to there. Because I think, yeah, I think we have to go through those. And the idea is we just need to... Why did it not move? Please go to there. There we there we go. It's decided to actually heed my advice. Uh, right, so please board that and thank you. So they've jumped onto the ground here. And speaking of ground, we are going to ground the vessel. Okay, the vessel has been grounded on its own. And, yep, we now have this thing getting boarded. So, uh, we can see the boarding is underway. That is now captured. I will then tell them to... Well, I mean, board that one. So this is captured. We've now told them, told them, tell them? They've been told to move here. But you can see they are getting shot and there's blood uh, going all over here. And they are, I mean, they're fairly savage, these guys, right? Look at that. They are just walking towards all of the gunfire and taking care of business. And you can hear the, the sort of clatter noise of that minigun. Looks like the front one has been destroyed now. And they're still working through this. Wow. And defeat. Really? Really? Because... Hmm. Yeah. The problem being that we don't have a ship left. So we gained the orc. But we lost the magpie. But this thing... Yeah... We were basically, we didn't have a chance to continue on. Because we still have, let's have a look. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. I think we still have eight of the wasp killer marines. Interesting. Okay, let's try something different. Let's go for a land ship and something... I won't take the pig. Rhino will be pointless. The Titan. Yeah, let's take the Titan. So the Titan, we'll put... Um, we'll put let's give it a fair chance. We'll put it back there. And our land ship... Uh, no, sorry, our airship going to be naturally the... Naturally, the magpie. Now, I'm just going to double check. How many do we have? Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 crew. But there's also some up here. But I think we can actually count them there. There should be two each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 at the back. Yep. Yeah, so we do have the 16 available. They've just been scattered around the ship. This thing, however, we can't see what's on it. What I'll do is I'll move it, and I'll move it to our side for a second. And I'm seeing I'm seeing a barracks there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm seeing armed crew all over the place. There's definitely a number of armed crew on this one. Okay. Well let's see. Let's see what we can do. That goes there. Start the fight. Tell them to board, and I'm telling them to board it now, because we're basically gonna ram this vessel into it. And here we go. Our job is solely to get the Marines on board. And there we go. And go, go, go. Marines are getting absolutely hammered. Why are they not jumping off? They're all dead. Well, that didn't work out at all. Now, I knew the flak would take them out. <laughs> I thought, though, we'd have a little bit longer than that. Let's, let's try that again. Back to the Titan. We're going to put that there. Add in the airship. Obviously, I should point out the obvious here, that we are testing these in isolation. You know, there's nothing... We've got no backup. We're literally testing one vessel to another. So I've told them to board. Okay, so now I'm going to say ram down to there. So we'll stay away from the flak. In fact, you know what's probably best? Just go there. There you go. They are now... <laughs> Have they just been squished? I think, I think that is the case. Um, where's the troops? Do we, oh, right. <laughs> they got too close to the ground and they've decided to jump onto the trees. <laughs> okay. We'll leave that again. Let's try this a third time. Um, land ship. Titan. It can go there. Right. Airship. I mean, to be fair, how many can we get? We can probably get two for the price of it. One. Is that the way to go? One, two. We're, we're overpointed, but we're gonna we're gonna give ourselves the best chance possible. Board ship that thing there. I mean I could go behind it and work that way, but I I don't I'm not convinced that's gonna be the case, uh I don't think that's going to work. Anyway, here we go. So we're charging towards them. I do still think this flak is going to cause us some issues. There is the landing. And they are... They do not seem to want to board. At all. Did the flak just take them out straight away? I'm fairly confident it does. Okay, let's try... Let's try not doing the same thing three times over and wondering why it's failing we're going to put in the elk great design one of our strongest it's got flak but i think hopefully anywhere we'll be able to board it quite well without getting you know destroyed by flak so start board there we should be above the ground enough so there we are Ram to there. Go. And go, go, go. Nope, they've dropped to the ground. Again. The thing is they have to be dropped down. But I can't really go above them. Is that really what we're going to have to do? We'll try it once more. Oh, move the elk to there. Airship. Magpie. 
Put it higher up this time. Start. Board the ship, yes. So they all get out, and then are waiting. And then ram to, to there. So we're still above them. And then we have to basically land. We need to land right, get right above them, and then we've been taken out again. Darn it. There is one hope that, yes. Oh, okay, they, they do genuinely get squished. Right, okay. We've got one guy. One guy's on board. Here, here he is. So, where's he going? He's going to the engine. Bay. Oh, wow. That's one guy. This guy is John McLean in this. He's going full Rambo. Don't say one. <laughs> I think he might have won that. I think that soldier might have been able to win that one. Okay, I'm going to try something which may or may not work. But that's why we test these things. Airship. And naturally the magpie. Right up here. Start the fight. Tell them to board. Will they just jump from any height? Well, let's, let's try. I don't think they will. We're coming around the back here. Here we go. And jump. 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 There we go. Right. So, we just need to get out of the way now. And I'd rather, I'd rather take the forward cannons rather than the flak, to be honest. There's the guys boarding. And they're boarding well. Can't turn around. I think we've got this. Those are impressive soldiers. See this? They're trying to they're trying to repel the borders. And you can see just how slow to maneuver around they are. But it doesn't matter when they can't be destroyed. All the flak's being taken out. Most people trying to repair. There we go. That's a win. That's a capture. Okay, so we'll try maybe one or two more, but this time we're going to go for an airship. I'm going to put in... Well, there's an airship that is very, very expensive. And um, we'll have it as a uh, a lovely... I don't know. Should we say a nice stormy... A stormy... Uh, not hailstorm, that's nice. And we're going to go for airship. And once again, down to the magpie. And there we go. I should probably use the search function more often. We're going to start up here. Start the fight. Immediately board. And then that's fine. And then we will basically ram directly towards them. So, yeah. It, it does say they have to drop. And that is fine. The, the problem is flak. And, oh, we've... I mean, I think we've won already. We pretty much have just dropped out our, our <laughs> entire marine contingent right on and inside this thing here. And there you go, that's captured. Yeah. Once they're on board, they are so, so powerful. Okay. One more fight. Let's go for airship. And what is the most expensive thing we have? Hmm... Well, the magpie's up there. The starling's expensive, but it's also pointless. What is the? What have we got here? Aha! Right, the vindicator. So we're gonna place that in there. Add in the airship. We're gonna go down and to the magpie. One and then two. We are gonna put them right on top of each other, which is not advisable because if one, well, if the top one loses its suspendium chamber, then the whole thing collapses. But we're gonna go there and we'll say ram down to there. So go, go, go. And we're charging down. Obviously taking lots and lots of flak. But there's the boarding and they've dropped. They've dropped. And well, the marines are good grief. Let's just zoom in and see what's going on here. Is that a board? <laughs> All right, okay. Basically, unless you are prepared to deal copious amounts of damage early on, or you can outmaneuver it, that thing is gonna get to you and board you. Flak seems to be a good thing against it, and 
Yeah, it's just that one, it's just the one thing that we couldn't take out the rhino. Uh, sorry, not the rhino. It was the land ship and go, go with the, where is it? Where was it? It was the Titan. One last attempt to defeat the Titan because I think it would be rude not to. So magpie starting right up here like previously. Start board there. See, I thought, well, bringing it down here, they'd be allowed to jump onto the ground and then back up, but that's not the case. Or just driving it over this little ledge here means we're going to get shot off all these cannons and the flak, but the rest of it should be fine, but none of that seemed to be actually work. So we're just going to go for a straight-up board ram towards them. Here we go. And there's the, there's the boarding. There it is. Um, we've actually lost the majority of our borders. Oh, good grief. There's only two remaining. There's one there and there's one there. One on the front and the one on the back. That's his defeat because we've got no ships left. <laughs> oh, come on. We have to try once more, don't we? Once more. Land ship. The Titan. I'm just going to put it here. Magpie. And one, two. Actually, no, I, will, I will put it further back. And start the fight. Get them to board. There's the boarding. And then we're not going to ram through it, which is the problem we had previously. Because we still need to have these alive if possible. There's the boarding. And let's just go. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. They're all dead. Really? Are they all dead? We need to keep the ships alive. Turn it round. We've still got several marines on board. We're just going to board the ships. And it's just going to sit there. So where's our marines? There's one going up top to the bridge. And look at the, the flat cannons. I, I noticed people were walking along here. And they were actually getting shot. Oh, we lost one. But we're taking the bridge... We'll go to max speed, but I think we've lost that one. And there it is. The Titan survived. Okay. Titans are tough. It's a tough nut to crack. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. Original idea was to try the Wasp Killer Marine Barracks. They're good. They're really good. Are they better than a ship that's faster? More manoeuvrable? Actually, not really. We can give commands faster there, faster this one. But is this better than a ship that's half the price, has twice the number of marines, albeit not as good, that uh, has a higher service ceiling and a faster speed? I don't know. The jury's out. I think this has its purpose. I just think retrofitting it like it is, maybe not the way forward. I may maybe cut it in half and just have this little bit is probably the way forward. But obviously, this has been testing, tested in isolation outside of the Conquest slash Campaign mode. So, you know, it's a, it's a completely different beast in, in that one. But let me know what you think. I've had fun playing with the Wasp Killer Marine barracks and building this thing. And if you have any tips, comments, suggestions for this design, uh, improvements that could be made or better ways to run it, what we compare it with, or just random thoughts on different designs you would like to see, then by all means, let me know in the comments. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.